Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam or Xshaws, and uh, today I thought I would catch up with my viewers and uh, anybody watching this video about some stuff that's going on with my channel and tell you guys a, a bunch of stuff that's not related to gameplay at all. Uh, so just kind of forget whatever's in the background here. It's going to be some good gameplay. haven't picked out a game yet, but I'll pick something that fits the time of this video. And uh, yeah, so that's, you know, first. Um, now, the first thing I want to get into, second thing I guess you could say, um, is my gold gun videos and a little reminder to you guys. Now, um, a lot of people are skeptical on whether or not I'm actually using the comment section of the video to choose, of the videos I should say, uh, to choose which gold guns I get. And basically you guys want to say that I absolutely am using the comment section of my videos to choose which gold guns I get, um, but not necessarily on a day-to-day -day basis. Basically, the, the case that, or the deal is, is that what happens is I, usually I'm gaining more than 50,000 COD points a day. So, you know, I don't really want to save up those COD points. I want to get gold guns. I want to start saving up videos because that's sort of a habit of me. Um, I've already saved up, you know, a ton of videos from Black Ops and I have enough that I, I wouldn't have to play probably for a couple months um, before I have to worry about getting new videos or maybe, maybe two or three months. I don't know. Um, but regardless, that's the way I like to do things. And uh, the same thing goes with these gold gun videos. I've already recorded a bunch of the live commentaries and I've recorded like two or three videos with different gold guns so the thing is is how am I picking the gold guns then well um, it's very very simple instead of just picking one gold gun from the vi from the comment section of a video uh, sometimes I'll choose between two and three the other day and I know I'm spoiling it right now if you want to close your ears or mute the video for the next five seconds I'm gonna say which gold guns they got I think I got the spas 12 the m60 and the Olympia those were gold guns that people really wanted me to get and um, because you know I had 150,000 cod points or 160,000 whatever I bought those three guns and and those are the three guns that were most requested after the commando on one of my videos. So I was like, all right, those are the three guns I'm going to buy. Not because those are guns that I want. I really don't want the Olympia. And I'm not a big fan of the M60. I don't usually use light, light machine guns at all. And the Spass 12 was all right, but I don't love it. Those weren't guns that I wanted. Those are guns that you guys wanted to see me get. And a lot of people wanted to see the Olympia, surprisingly, all right? A lot of people thought it would be funny to request the worst gun possible, I think, and then make me use it in a, in a video. So... Uh, that's what I think happened there. Um, regardless, I am using the gold guns that you guys are requesting. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is Team Fear. So I joined Team Fear recently, and um, a lot of people are giving me positive responses. A lot of people are giving me negative responses. And instead of just kind of flushing down the toilet, what people are saying, thought I'd actually address it. So the main thing that people are saying is that Team Fear is sort of using me for publicity, and that I'm not actually a good competitive player. Uh, to you guys out there, I just want to say that a lot of people who watch my videos might not be aware that I actually have played competitive competitively before, and actually played PCL and PCOE. If you don't know what that is, it's Pro Circuit Ladder and Pro Circuit Online events um, back in Call of Duty 4. It's been a long time, which is why I said over and over, I'm getting back into competitive gaming. I know the basics of it. I played like for a year and a half. I, I you know, have not extensive experience in game battles, but I, ha I did play for a very long time competitively. I'm not quite up to speed with things, but that's why, you know, I didn't just jump right back into com competitive gaming when I wanted to do it. I sort of felt things out, played with Toxo, met some guys in competitive gaming, and then joined up with Team Fear. So a lot of people are saying that Team Fear is it's just like this whole, you know, I'm just going to sit on the roster and, you know, nothing's going to happen. I'm just going to promote the shit out of them. And while they are a great team and I want to give them more publicity because they're all great players, that's not as far as our relationship goes. And uh, I just want to let you guys know that I actually have played competitively before. You guys will see videos of me playing with them, not just, you know, against random teams, but against other good MLG variant teams out there. And uh, I'm really looking forward to getting back into competitive gaming. Um, I've, I've just been thinking about which headsets I'm going to get. Uh, you know, I ordered um, a new mix amp, the wireless mix amp for the Astros, and now people are telling me get Tritons, which I've had before, and now people are telling me to get Soundheisers, which I've never had before, which I'm now looking at, and uh, that's the only thing that's holding me back from playing game battles, and I know my doubles partner right now is very upset with me, Ryan X. Smith. Um, his link will be in the description of this video. I apologize that we can't play, you know, doubles, Ryan, but... I got to get this sorted out and believe me I want to get it sorted out because I'm very excited to get back you know in game battles it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time you guys heard me talk about towards the end of Modern Warfare 2 and the beginning of Black Ops so that's a, a really great thing now the last thing I want to talk about in this video to conclude uh, this little update for you guys is a couple videos ago I mentioned that I would actually somebody you know asked I didn't mention it randomly somebody asked me in a question and answer session that I was sort of doing on the fly I was reading things off my Twitter feed and somebody said would I sign their PS2 and this reminded me of a while ago when somebody asked me to sign something else uh, which has actually happened more than once, I should say. Um, 
and following this video I, I uploaded it at night I went to bed and in the morning um, typically I'll get about two to three hundred messages overnight over 1300 messages and I was like that is crazy what are these 1300 messages about because usually it, it doesn't just spike that much randomly um, and it was pretty much a thousand or so people asking me to sign stuff that was ridiculous and I didn't realize how many people would respond like that I didn't know how many people wanted me to sign things for them one of my autograph the thing is guys is I would in order to do this a I would have to literally sign like a thousand things and a lot of people might not have even thought I was serious when I think I mentioned it in passing so there might even be more people who want to do this or people who haven't seen that video yet at the time that I'm recording this commentary so here's the thing I, I really don't think it's practical for me to do I apologize if I led you guys on and made you guys think I would be able to do this the way it would have to happen if I did it would number one I would have to buy a PO box which would have to be a fairly large PO box it would cost me a lot of money I would have to pay monthly because people wanted me people wanted to ship me I swear to you computers Xboxes and PS3s for me to sign not just controllers and headsets um, and that's fine if you were one of those guys who said that that's a cool and all but um, it would cost me a lot of money and also signing thousands of things I mean even if it was just hundreds I can't imagine how long it would take and that would be pretty again annoying to do um, so guys I apologize it's I, I I know a lot of people really took that seriously, but it doesn't look like it's something I'll be able to do. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was just an update video, which 90% of you were like, fuck this guy. This guy's gay as shit. Never heard this guy before. Whatever. I apologize to you guys as well if I wasted your time. Just thought I'd update you guys on three things that were relevant to what's been going on lately. And that's pretty much it. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.